Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents with God's Church of Love online. We are blessed with leadership. Every single member of our online church family is a leader, and I intend to stir up their gifts. I am not feeling well, and I've been battling a cold, so they will be preaching the word. We will have Marlene, followed by Peter, followed by Davina, and I'll break them up into separate videos. I believe the Bible speaks plainly about developing and stirring up the gifts that are within. And these guys are gifted. They have a lot to say. So please hear them. Please listen to them. And please take heed and pray for me that the Lord get this nasty cold over with. <laughs> God bless you guys. I am Marlene Suit, and I'm bringing forth this message. Born in sin and shaped in iniquity. The seven deadly sins are lust, gluttony, greed, sloth, wrath, envy, and pride. We come out of our mother's womb. No one has to teach us these things. No one has to teach us to be selfish. And the, so many of us struggle with lust, with pride, and we don't realize that they are seven deadly sins that God is not pleased with. So we come out with the, the, the feelings of envy and pride, and a lot of us seek like greed, and, and we look at the things that we do on the earth as accomplishments to validate us, and these things separate us from God. And a lot of us struggle with these things. So I look at the prodigal son is the grace of God. If you look at Luke 15, chapter 11 and 32, it teaches you about the prodigal son. And a prodigal son takes the riches and he uses it on lavish things and he spends the money partying and doing these things into a point where uh, he has to become a slave. And so when he has to become a slave, he's poor because he has squandered all the wealth from his father. So it's the same thing with the, the, the mercy and the grace of the God that we serve when his grace and his mercy through his blood, through his son that he sent upon this earth to die for us. So the prodigal son, the, the wealth of the grace of God's riches is what we squander when we allow ourselves to walk in lust and gluttony and greed and wrath and envy and pride. And sometimes we don't understand and we don't know it. And... So when the prodigal son realized that he had to become a slave, because when you become a slave, you're a slave to sin. You're a slave to pride. You're a slave to uh, wrath and envy, and you don't realize it. So in spite of the wealth that he had, he had to become a slave. So sin keeps you separated from God because the flesh war against, the flesh wars against God, period. So we want to be led by the spirit. So the flesh wars against God, and you're born like that. You don't realize how separated you are from God until you ask the Lord to take these things away from you and even to make you aware of the shortcomings and how we are walking and separated from God. So when the prodigal son wakes up and says, hey, I'm tired of, of, of this servitude and I'm hungry and I'm starving, if I go back to my father, then he'll forgive me. So the prodigal son says, I go back to my father. And his father sees his son and says, I have so much, he has so much compassion for him. And he throws a party and he forgives him. And it's the same thing with our God when he loves us and we say, I'm sorry. And we realize what we have done and how far we have disappointed him, how much we disappoint God. But he says, you know what? I don't change, but you do. He, God doesn't disappoint us. We disappoint God. So it's like a mustard seed. A mustard seed is one to two milliliters big. It's very small because we have to humble ourselves. If we humble ourselves, we'll be exalted. If we exalt ourselves, we'll be humble. So when we let God plant that mustard seed, that means we say, Father, Lord Jesus, I come into my heart and guide me. I don't want this pride. I don't want this anger. I don't want... This, these things that keep me in bondage, keep me crying at night, and, and so, so and a, literally a slave to sin. 
So the Lord says, okay, I'm going to plant this seed, this powerful, mighty seed is so small. How big does a mustard seed grow? It grows extremely tall. It grows, um, you know, very big. But it's small, and it's a process of cultivation, a process of learning, a process of growing. And that's how it is when we allow, when we understand how we've erred and how we've separated ourselves from God and how it's God, it's not us. No matter how we feel or what we think, it's the error from what we were born in and what we were shaped in, the iniquity. So we have to embrace that and say, I don't want this. I don't want to be this way. Lord, what do you need me to do? Because I want to grow and I want to be that mustard seed and that tree that you that that uh, grows because we say, I want you your will to be done in my life. Have your way with me another day, Father God. I love you, and I need your son's blood to forgive me of my sins and my transgressions. So we, and a lot of times when we have these uh, sins that we struggle with, when we're in pride, we're around people that are prideish people. When we're in lust, we're around people that have that same kind of nature. Birds of the same feather flock together. So God separates us from these things, and he says, I'm going to bring you when I change you. So when he brings you by yourself, don't wonder because narrow is the road and wide, broad is the path. And narrow is the road to the path of righteousness and broad is the way to destruction. So a lot of times the Lord will say, I'm bringing you unto me and I'm bringing you away from these people that are greedy and envious and wrathful. And that's your nature, and these are the things that we struggle with. And we find ourselves around people, around parents, around family members and different people that we have in our lives. Because, But when we say, Lord, I don't want to be the prodigal son, you know, I want there be a party to be a party in the heavens because the angels rejoice when we truly repent. So we say, Lord, and have your way with me. Let thy will be done. And trust in the Lord, and we read the Word of God, and we pray to God, and we seek intimacy with the Lord, and that you get that through prayer and through the God of revealing his truth to you, because he does each of us in our own way as he reveals his truth to us. So we stay in that, and we continue and make it a point to make God first in our lives. And that's how that mustard seed will grow into a tree that is so big and huge that's bearing fruits that God called us to bear because we're called to bear these fruits. We're called to do these things, but we have to know the power of the flesh that it has and what it does and how it separates us from God. Born in sin, but shaped in iniquity, the prideful sons and daughters of God that we are, that when we turn away from this sin, when we turn away from these things, that we all we know when we are are in the world, this is who we are and this is what defines us, but this is what keeps us so far from God. But when we realize that and we understand that and we say, uh, I'm, I'm going to humble myself. I don't want to be seen by man. I don't need to be seen. I don't need to show or prove anything to anyone else. Let the work of God begin in, inside my heart, and it's going to manifest to your mind and your actions and your thoughts, and that's what God wants from us. The grace of God is our, our riches, and the prodigal, the prodigal son keeps us separated from God. The, the, the prodigal son is who we are when we walk in these lust and gluttony and greed and sloth and wrath and envy and pride. And a lot of times you have to, this is something that doesn't happen overnight. Like that seed that is so small that is planted, it grows. And stay at the feet of God, stay at the feet of the Most High God, and that's how you overcome these things that our, 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 our parents struggle with, these things that just the, just the average everyday person struggle with these things but know that our God is a God that has already won the victory and when we let him lead and guide our lives we will also walk in that victory thank you